Good evening, football fans. Welcome to another exciting episode of Prep Sports Live. I'm Anissa Kinsey. Anissa, the floor is yours. John, both teams were supposed to make it, and both teams did. The Helix Highlanders are 9-2, and, and the Rancho Bernardo Broncos are 11-0. The Broncos' perfect record is standing strong, but you cannot write off the strength of the mighty Highlanders. Hold tight. The action from this game and more is in store because Prep, Prep Sports, Sports Live, Live starts, starts right, right now. now. You're watching Prep Sports Live, your home for high school sports. I'm Anise O'Kenzie, and tonight two rivals clash on the gridiron, the East Lake Titans versus the modern day Catholic Crusaders. Hold tight, I'll have the hottest highlights from this game in a bit, but first I want to toss it over to Austin, who's in Carlsbad. The energy is contagious at Helix Home Stadium as two powerhouse teams prepare to push each other to the limit. Of course, I'm talking about the Helix Highlanders and the Valhalla Norsemen. Senior night, Terrence Tolbert getting his reps in before the game. First quarter, quarterback Brian Madriz rolls out of the pocket, attempts to connect with Danny Madera, trying to secure Valhalla an early lead, but ball hawk Scott Young has other plans, snatching that pass out of the air. We have an electric matchup for you tonight. The 7-2 Helix Highlanders are hosting the 8-1 Valhalla Norsemen. The playoffs are only one week away, and this is definitely an interesting matchup leading up to that. Scott Young decides he's the man for the job, taking the ball for himself, and he will be denied by nobody, drilling his way for another Helix touchdown. Going into the third, running back Deuce Reynolds splits the defense down the middle, setting up a touchdown on the next play. Both Santa Fe Christian and Bishops are excellent teams with a handful of star players. Let's see who comes out victorious in the Bigs Harley Davidson of San Marcos Game of the Week. Don't go anywhere because Prep Sports Live starts now. Let's put those highlights in motion and see who shined the brightest under the Friday night lights. Jeffrey Jackson finds his brother Jacob Jackson on the screen pass. Talent runs in the family, literally 80 yards down the field, 14 nothing night. Bishops keeps the momentum going defensively. Isaiah Dawson dragging Santa Fe Christian's quarterback to his cleats. Tonight, we have an action-packed episode full of all the high school football highlights you could possibly dream of. So without further delay, let's charge right into the action. The San Marcos Knights are 3-1 heading into this matchup with their first loss coming last week to the Oceanside Pirates. The Knights travel to El Camino as the Wildcats hope to gain some traction after losing a defensive battle with Torrey Pines last week. It's almost October, so here's an early trick and treat for you. The Knights pull a fake reverse screen pass until Bryson Bolin hits Tyler Rogers on the screen pass. The line gets to run into the end zone. Everyone scores here for San Marcos. Bryson Bolin keeps the prize possession for himself on the option run, striding all the way to the bank out of reach of the Lancers, cashing in for six on the board. Eight to six, Pink looks just as good on the Knights as this win does. The Knights pleased the homecoming crowd getting the victory. Their strong defensive performance allowed the Knights offense to make just enough plays to secure the W. 7-1 modern day Catholic Crusaders enter this game on fire tonight with five consecutive wins as they host their rivals, the East Lake Titans. The Titans have had a tough season, but look to rebound in tonight's matchup. Now, both teams have their strength. The chemistry of East Lake's quarterback, Alfredo Garcia, running back Jalen Jackson, and receiver Jay Viden is impeccable. Christopher Jones connects with Kyle Moses, who parts the blue sea of Titans for yet another touchdown. <laughs> CJ Verdell is making waves, racking up a total of 1,212 rushing yards this season. I can feel the tension on this field tonight. Only one team can win. Let's roll the highlights. First quarter, C.J. Verdell takes the handoff from Christopher Jones. The young Crusader makes an impressive play, 64 yards down the field until being halted at the one, setting them up for the first touchdown of the night. The 5-2 San Marcos Knights suffered hard-hitting losses to the Oceanside Pirates and the El Camino Wildcats. Thanks to the star power of Bryson Bolin and Tyler Rogers, the Knights found redemption with a double overtime win against Toy Pines. The Helix Highlanders have no intention of leaving Cloud Nine just yet with another critical win over the Norsemen, earning them a coveted position in the San Diego Division I playoffs. Right through the spin cycle, twisting and turning down the field 80 yards until he put the path at the through one. the spin cycle twisting and turning down the field 80 yards until he stopped at the one for six. Bonita Vista looking muy bonita after that win, 27 to 10. I 
playoffs after conquering West Hills Blue Sea. The Barons will be hosting El Capitan in their quarterfinal. The Broncos and the Helix Highlanders have a long history of success, but absolutely no history of ever playing each other. Without further delay, let's hear the head coach. Carson Baker on the screen pass to Scott Young. Woo, he jukes a defender out of their shoes. He's running down the field looking for six. He's taking my breath away, coasting by two more defenders. He's unstoppable. Evan Perkins intercepts the pass and brings it back to the dog pound. Helix is dominating this game in all areas. The final score, 28 to 10. Both teams suffered a huge loss with the injuries of Milan Grice and Ezekiel Noah. We at PSL wish them both a speedy return to the field. The Highlanders made it to the finals and hope for more flawless execution. But that is all we have for our one hour championship CIF show. I'm Anissa Kinsey.